Hello and welcome back to Oat Milk everyone. Or if this is your first time, hello, welcome. Nice to meet you. So, um, I think I've talked about this before, but I am currently in grad school. Uh, finishing up this year soon. Ah! Um, but while I'm still in school, I wanted to take this time to talk about minimalism in college and my experience and opinions and yeah let's get into it okay so the first thing that i want to talk about is having a tidy dorm minimalism is the best tip for keeping tidy i think we've kind of beaten a dead horse about this i hate that expression um really helps you be tidy when you have less stuff and the stuff you do have you love more um so dorms are notorious for being messy. I think that's like a stereotype that we have, like the move-in picture compared to like halfway through the semester or finals week or something and how much messier it is. Um, so minimalism is a good way to avoid that. Um, and this goes hand in hand with dorms. Oh my God, a bug just crashed into my window or something. Um, this goes hand in hand with dorms being tiny. Um, I was lucky, my dorm was like slightly bigger than average, but I have seen some small dorms. And so, obviously, minimalism generally means having fewer things, so it might fit better in the tiny space of a dorm. It's like a tiny house without a kitchen, which there are tiny homes like that, so. But you don't get to personalize it that much. Tiny homes are better. Build tiny homes, kids. Don't pay for a room and board at a university. <laughs> okay, um, but also socializing, I mean, it's not a pandemic. I mean, when it's not a pandemic. Um, when I lived in a dorm, it, there was not a pandemic. I don't know if you recall that distantly in the past. Uh, when I was an undergrad, it wasn't COVID. But um, minimalism makes it easier when you don't have as much stuff and therefore you have more space so you can hang out with your friends more in your dorm, which is really an important part of college. Like, there's been this meme recently that's like realizing that you have to actually go to class instead of just like wearing a cute fit to class. But really, college is in large part about socializing. You make a lot of important friendships and get to explore yourself in a new environment, which is so important to like growth and development. Um, doesn't have to be college you can do this in other settings but college is a really key site for that and I think minimalism really supports that because for me at least minimalism was so much about figuring out what's really important to me and like who I am in my relationship with these objects and college is also about that so they really go hand in hand I think you know one sort of facilitates the other when other things don't get in the way because ooh, it gets complicated. Um, so another thing about college is you're, you're moving to a new space generally and you want to be able to show your new pals that you meet like who you are and so you know I went to college with a giant photo album and like all these pictures of my dogs and like so many like just decorations that were like personal touches to me um and i've seen people go even harder than i did with this and i regret it how much i did that because it's just it just ends up being like mindless weight volume and pounds that you have to pack up whenever you leave because like dorms you move around a lot. i mean in college just as a young person in general you end up moving around a lot and all this stuff you know half of it you're gonna dump on the side of the road so that people can come pick it up when they're decorating and i think we should do this as much as we do and we should instead have the fewer things that spark more joy and are more valuable therefore we're more likely to want to put the effort in to move them and also have to expend less total effort to move everything I don't plan on moving for a while, but I still don't want to accumulate a bunch of stuff that I'll have to question whether or not to move with where I'm at in my life now. Ah, and the biggest thing, 
about minimalism in college is the cost. I spent a lot of, oof, somebody here? I spent a lot of money decorating my dorm and buying things I thought I needed for college. And you know, I used a lot of them. I don't have most of them now, but um, college spending is like, I don't know, I saw some stat the other day, I'm not gonna bother to find it again, uh, about just how much people spend on college, but not like tuition and stuff, just like the, the other stuff of college. And with tuition the way it is, like how, how can we justify that? And uh, minimalism doesn't always mean being frugal, but it sure helps. And um, honestly, if you're doing it right, it does um, mean being frugal, or at least finding with the parts of your life that you want to be more frugal in, and then finding the parts of your life that you want to justify investing a little more in, money-wise. Um, and I guess this is just like advocating for being a minimalist in college, but it's seriously helpful because I was already like on my minimalist journey when I went to college and looking back I was like so much less of a minimalist compared to now and I could have saved a lot of money, my parents money, my money. <sighs> it's, it's 2020 kids. Um, and the last and most important thing is about decision fatigue and visual clutter. So. Dorms are small and then you have all that stuff in there. It gets kind of overwhelming, like, because my friends would always leave stuff in my dorm too. And so, like, I got kind of overwhelmed with how much just stuff there was. And like, I felt like I was constantly cleaning, but then people would leave more stuff in my room. And so dealing with that sort of decision fatigue, but also especially the visual clutter, some people, put so much stuff in their dorms, like how do you cram it all in there? Um, and I feel like having less of that, as I currently do, contributes to being a better student because then you don't have all of that weighing on your mind, whether consciously or subconsciously. And so then you can be more content and potentially have more energy and focus for like studying assignments, just doing school and life um, because that's really what minimalism is to me it's making more space in your life for the things that you need and have to do need and want to do as opposed to just the stuff that you do or have that isn't sparking joy or important in some way and you know, it doesn't always mean that you'll get your homework done if you clean your room because sometimes you spend all the time cleaning your room and then you have no time left to do your homework. But when you build that into your systems and your routines and lifestyle, overall I feel like it does provide more space for your brain to just do more good stuff. Not that minimalism is quote cure for depression, but like it don't hurt, honestly. Um, and so as I'm transitioning to the real world, um, out of school, I think the way that my minimalism looks will change. And it already has a little bit, just that I'm doing less school as I finish up, or the kind of school that I'm doing looks different. Um, and it's gonna change a lot, and like the, the categories that I am and am not as minimal and will change and that's kind of scary but definitely not more scary than you know the other existential crises that come with transitioning out of school and into the workforce egad um, but those are my thoughts on minimalism in college and why you should do it why it's helpful and sort of the way that my minimalism has already changed since 2015 and is just gonna keep on changing because that's growth and that's life and we love it. So thanks for hanging out with me and Cecilia and Lance the guard dog. I'm gonna go eat some chocolate cake and then work on my thesis because 
I'm gonna graduate soon. Thanks for coming everybody and I'll see you all next week with another video about minimalism or something.